Good morning. And I've already made a video talking about how to set up kids accounts or child accounts for the PlayStation 4. But what I thought I'd do this morning is, well, basically the same for the Xbox. So here we are. Now, obviously, the first question is, why would you want to do this? And there's various answers. But the obvious one for me is that it means that my kid can have his own gamer score. The other thing that is important to me is we have two consoles. And with him having his own account that's linked to mine, I can download digital games and he can go on his console and play those games without actually having his own copy. So both my consoles have copies of those games and my kid can go and play to his heart's content. Well, as long as I let him. So those are the main advantages. There are other things as well that come into play, but I'm not going to go into that here. What you need, though, is obviously you're going to have to have an Xbox Live account in order to do this. So if you haven't got one of those, you'll need to create it. If you have got one of those, then what you need to do is you need to go to a PC and you need to log on and then you need to go to account.microsoft.com and that should bring you to a screen that looks very much like this one. If it doesn't, it will probably ask you to log on. Then obviously you would log on with your Microsoft account that is obviously linked to your Xbox. Once you've logged on to that account, as I say, it should bring you to this screen. Once you've got this screen up, you would go to the top of the page where my cursor is. I don't know if you can see it and click on family. And that should load up your family details. Now, obviously, it's going to look slightly different to mine because I've got my account set up as, as I wanted it. And you should have yours set up how, how you want it. If you haven't got any other family members on there yet, you'll just see your details. What you want to do, though, is not worry about the family members that you've already got. You want to click on Add Family Member. So let's do that now. And it brings you to this screen and it says add a family member, invite a member to your Microsoft family. Well, that's what we want to do. But it's asking you to put in an email address or details. Well, we haven't got those yet because we're going to need to create those. So it says if they don't have a Microsoft account, create one for them. So they're actually going to need their own Microsoft email address. And that's what we're going to do now. So click on create one for them. And it says create account for child. Well, you would put in your Microsoft email address for them. But again, we haven't got that yet. So you would get you would you would click, I should say, get new email address. So click on that and it says create account for a child. So you would click on there and you would type in, I don't know, in this case, I'm going to do. Do that one. And hopefully that will let me have that. So then we would click on next. And it says create a password. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says create a password. So we would create a password for kid test. And in this instance, I'm going to type that in. So let's do. Uh, So that's typed that in. So now I can do next. And it says create an account. So it wants first name. So in this instance, first name and last name. And I'm going to call him kid test because this is a test account and click on next. And it says add details country region. Well, in this case, I'm in the United Kingdom. Day of birth. Well, let's do, I don't know. <laughs> what did I do last time? Let's do 10th of October. What did I make him 12 last time? I don't know. 2000 and let's do 2006. That'll do. That's a kid's account. So 2006 will make it well, it'd be about 12 now, I think. So, yeah, that would be work. That would work. And it says, before proceeding, we need to make sure that a real person is creating this account. So it wants you to type in these characters, if I can bloody read them. Let's do a new one so I can actually read it. I can actually read that one. So. Uh, 
and you would type in that. You see a lot of these, don't you, when you're, you're typing these accounts. So hopefully that'll work. And click on next. And it says, I have to enter my password for my account. So again, it, it will ask you for the details of your account um, from, from the one that you set up when you created your Microsoft account. I hope that's clear. And we click sign in. And it's telling me down here that it's joined my, he's joined my account. So hopefully it says, your child's Microsoft account. Uh, first, does this look right? Name, kid test, email address. Yeah, we got that. And United Kingdom, which is right. Uh, need to update your child's profile info. Finish creating their account. Then watch an email about your child's Microsoft account. It's full of handy links and info. So once you've set this up, it, they will send you an email to your account, not your kid's account. You should get an email to your account about your child's Microsoft account. So it will give you some info that you can carry on with. So click continue. And it says review the legal stuff. As ever, there's a load of old nonsense on here that you have to uh, have to fill in. My child can use third party apps. Well, let's just go through this. Hold on. Uh, your child wants to create a Microsoft account to use with Microsoft websites, apps online and so on and so forth. To create a Microsoft account, we need your child's name, age, country, region, postcode and alternative contact info like an email address or phone number for security purposes. We collect, share and use information from your child as described in the Microsoft privacy statement. You don't want to read that, it'll scare you. Expand and read the sections below for more information about your child's account. So we can click on these and it will show you various other information. You can read that. It says, my child can use third party apps. By selecting this box, you agree to let your child use their Microsoft account to sign in to games and apps that aren't published by Microsoft. These third party apps may collect information from your child or allow your child to communicate with others. You can manage permissions for your child at any time. Well, we actually have to allow this because if you don't allow it, it's going to cause some problems for them being able to use various things. So you want to click that and then click next. And it'll take you to another screen. It says account created. Your child's account is ready and we've added it to your Microsoft family so you can manage their information. Your child's family settings. Family settings tell us what kind of content your child can enjoy, who they can talk to and more. It says ask a parent. So it looks like you can't do anything with these at the moment. We'll we'll have to go in and change those later, presumably. So anyway, we click from there. We click on finished. And it should take us back to family. Yeah. And now we see that we've got kid test. So from there, you can look at all the different various options. So you've got activity, screen time, which you can change. So you can go into screen time. And it says screen time. It's simple. And at the moment it's off. If you turn it on, you can then select when your kid can play. And there's you know various options there. I'm not going to go into too much detail for that here. I'm going to actually leave that off for now because this is a test account. I don't really need to set that. Xbox screen time. Now, again, you can set that on and then you've got a very similar page and you can change per day what they can do. Um, so that's quite good. You could actually turn it off completely, say, on a Saturday, <laughs> if you were being mean. Um, but there's that. And then there's PC screen time. So you can do the same for that as well. So that's quite handy. Um, if we go back from there, right, as I say, if we go back from there, we can go in and we can have a look. We've got activity, content restrictions and more options. We drop that down. Find kid on a map, remove from family. And we've got spending as well. So you can you can play around with how much money they have. Now, I said this when I did my PlayStation video. Personally, I tend to not allow my kid to buy anything unless I'm sat with him. So basically, I've set it so that he can't actually spend any money at all. And if he wants to buy anything, he has to ask me first and we go in and we do it together. 
Obviously, if you're going to do that, watch you don't see what your password is. My kid's pretty good and he will always ask for stuff like this. But if your kid's a bit tricky <laughs> and he is the sort of kid who would learn your password, then obviously make sure that they don't. Uh, content restrictions, it says here, turn this on to require adult approval for things that your child wants to buy on Microsoft Store, uh, except for what they get with gift cards in their Microsoft account. So needs adult approval to buy things, email me when child gets stuff. So I've got them both on. Uh, that's actually how I've got it with my kid as well, uh, as opposed to this account, which is, as I say, is a test account. Apps, games and media, set an age limit to block inappropriate apps, games and media. Anything that exceeds the content ratings you've decided are appropriate for your child will need your approval. Now, what happens here is that, for, well, certainly on the Xbox, when my kid tries to go in and play a game that is above his age limit, it will actually ask me. And you can set it to allow just this once, or you can set it to allow always. So, for instance, I, I let my kid play Titanfall. Yeah, I'm a bad parent. <laughs> and I set it to allow him to play that always. But he has to ask if he wants to play it. So, you know, as I say, with these things, it's always down to you and your child and working out what's suitable for them and how you feel comfortable with it. I personally like my kid to ask me if he wants to play anything. And that's what he does. If he doesn't ask me, he doesn't play. And if I find him playing when he hasn't asked permission, he gets banned. Simple as that. But as I say, it, it depends on how how you work it out with your kid and how you feel comfortable Web browsing, uh, blocking appropriate websites, that kind of thing. All fairly straightforward. And that's pretty much it for that one. If we go back again. And what we've, we've done, uh, screen time, spending, find your kid, content restrictions, activity. We can go in and have a look at that. Now, I actually get an email every month <clears throat> that tells me what my kid's been playing so I can keep an eye on what he's been playing and if he's been doing anything he shouldn't, which, frankly, I have to say my kid has never actually done anything he shouldn't be doing, uh, on, on certainly on the Xbox. <laughs> he does in other things. But if, if, he, if he's playing when he shouldn't be, then I can see and so I can actually go in and I can have a word with him. Uh, so activity reporting is currently off you can actually turn it on and it will, you know, you can turn on all these different restrictions. I suggest you spend a little bit of time going through these and having a look and seeing what's suitable for you and your kid. As I say again, very much what I said about the PlayStation one, these things get quite complicated. It is worth going through and having a look at them, taking a little bit of time. Anyway, that's that one. So that's pretty much, as far as I can see, all you need to do on the PC. Once you've done that on the PC, then you can basically go in onto the Xbox and set it up from there. Because at this stage, we've only set up the account. We haven't actually set it up on the Xbox. So that's the next thing we need to do. So bear with me because I'm going to have to decamp to the other room because I actually haven't got an Xbox in this office at the moment. So I'm going to go into the lounge there will be a change to the mic sounds because obviously I'm going to be working with a portable mic, so I apologise for that. But uh, bear with me and we'll get to what you have to do on the Xbox next. Right, and we're back. And now, as you can see, we're at the Xbox. So what we need to actually do is go in and sign in with Kid Test because we've already added kid test to our family so it should already be in our family on the xbox and it should show up so then we need just need to go in and sign in so if we hit the xbox button and we go up or well actually i can go down to settings but usually you would go up and along and then down to settings select settings and then at the top there where it says account, you would go all the way to the right and then down one to family settings. And then down one to manage family members and select that. And as you can see here, we've got two members already of the family and one on the end, so three. But this one has not been signed in, as you can see. And 
basically what that means is it's in the family but it's not logged on to this particular Xbox. So if you hit A to select and it says add kid to this Xbox because we've already set it up as a family member we just haven't added this account to this specific Xbox. I know I keep saying that but it's important to <laughs> to state that. So if we click add kid to this Xbox it should then ask us to sign in and it's asking for the password so let's just go and do that now and that should log us in It says, ask your parent to sign in, choose an adult. So if we choose an adult, and I'm going to choose me because I'm the adult. <laughs> so if I choose my account, and I'll have to sign in for with my account as well. So and just wait for that and it should now let the kids account <laughs> go in and as you can see it's uh, it's it's set it with a uh, uh, a gamer um name if you look in the top left hand uh, side of the screen there it says it's set it up with notable trout 591 now uh you're going to need to change that so uh if we continue and enhance their other reporting is on that has to be on because i'm in the preview program so that has to be on as part of the preview program if you're not in the preview program you could turn that off but i don't see any reason to do that really uh, parents control privacy and online safety and it just tells us stuff about that lock it down ask for pass key i'm gonna set it at this stage with no barriers now again with with that you may want to go in and either lock it down you don't want to lock it down completely but you want to go in and, and change the settings so uh, again you can set up various settings for the xbox and you can do it from the xbox or you can do it from the pc as i said before and go through and change the settings and you can have global settings you know for xbox and pc and then you can have specific settings for pc and or xbox but anyway let's just skip this link controller section because we don't want to link a controller at this stage what this means is you can actually have a controller that when you press the xbox button on the controller to turn it on it will turn on the xbox and the controller and log the account on that it's linked to so that's quite useful but we don't want to do that at this stage so skip this and it says here is how you look on xbox so <laughs> it's got a panda notable trout 591 uh, otherwise known as kid test has a panda so we can click on next and it says choose color so you can basically change the the color settings so what are we going to have for this one for let's do i don't know my boy's got red so i'm not going to have red let's have let's have orange shall we and then next so that will be the the menu colors and it says join xbox live gold now you don't need to join xbox live gold with this account because in effect it has an xbox live gold account that is linked to the family account so you don't need to do this but you will need to hit continue because there's no option to cancel that at this stage so hit continue and then it gives you the options to set up the account but you want to click no thanks because this is a family account 
So it says, and then it takes you into uh, kids' privacy and online safety settings. And you can change them from here. You can remove from this Xbox, you can remove kid from the family, or you can go in and change the online privacy settings. Let's just go in there quickly and have a look at those. Xbox Live Privacy. And when you go into here, you can see various different options. You've got child defaults, teen defaults, adult defaults, and view details and customize. Now, what I always do is I go in and I customize this. Uh, if we just go in there quickly, there's loads of options you can go into through here. Now, I could do another video about this, but I'm not going to go into a lot of the detail on this here because we'd be here for hours. Um, but there are some settings that you need to change in order for your kid to be able to access their online. If you leave it as kid defaults, they're not going to be able to go online and play games online. It's just it's going to lock them down far too much. So you will need to go in and change these. As I say, though, I'm not going to go into that in this in this video because we'd be here for a long, long time. So let's just go back. Then you've got app privacy. And then it says control what certain apps are allowed to do with your data. And as you can see, there's various options here as well. Let's just quickly go into general. You can see a, get an idea of, of, of what it will do and what you can do with it. Um, but again, I'm not going to go into all this here because it's it's beyond the scope of this video. But you will need to have a look at various options here so that your kid can play online. If you have any issues, uh, you can always ask me in the comments and we can go through it. Or if you want, ask and I'll make another video about all this stuff because I have had to go through this with a couple of people now and show them how to set this up so their kid can actually get online and use <laughs> games in online you know set situations so anyway let's just go back out of there then we've got access to content at the moment it's unrestricted you can change that to age appropriate so in this instance it's 12 what i would normally do with my kid is i would probably have it a little bit higher than that uh, but yeah 12 will do uh, it depends on the age of your kid and depends on them really as i keep saying uh, and then we've got web filtering is turned off. Web filtering uh, activates safe search and helps to limit the types of content that this person can access on the internet. Currently off, if you've got a young kid, you'll probably want to change that. I, I normally put it to basic communication, so you can change that. But as I say, there's a lot in this. You can spend an hour or more going through this and trying to change settings and one setting can mess everything up so <laughs> as i say i'm not going to go into too much detail here if you go back out of there though and you can see that notable trout 591 is on there so we can actually go out of here now back to the desktop so you hit the de the xbox button and go home and if you hit the Xbox button again and you go up to the top and along to the far left, you can do switch profile. And you can see that Notable Trout's actually signed in. Uh, if you go to switch profile and select Notable Trout, you'll see in the top corner it says kid test. And it will say Notable Trout in a moment. Notable Trout, no gamer score. Surprise, surprise. Now, what you can do is if we go into kid test, um, right, so if you go into kid tests details, um, if you look here, you, you've got notable trout 591. Now, you would want to change that to something that's suitable. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can change this uh, once for free uh, subsequent changes will cost you money uh, so you can change it just the once I would change this to something that's you know you know relates directly to your kids something that they're happy with my kid chose his own and we changed it to that uh, create avatar change gamer pick so you can go in and you can change your, your gamer pick to you know whatever you want within reason uh, <laughs> And you can change the color, which we've already done once. And you know, create an avatar. 
you can go in and, and sort out all this sort of stuff. That you can have a lot of fun with this. Spend a long time playing with this. But you don't really need to do much else with this for the time being. So uh, I'll just wait for this to load up. And you can get a brief look at it. I think this is the new avatar settings that they've brought in. And yeah, welcome to the Xbox avatar ev editor. We, we You could go in and you could have a play with that. But... I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to go back to the desktop. And as I say, you can see the group no longer exists. <laughs> uh, the kid test or whatever his name is, Notable Trout is signed in. As I say, I would change that. But anyway, that, that's that's pretty much it. There's not much else you need to do at this stage. If, as I say, you're interested, I could maybe go and do another video talking you through some of the settings you'll need to change in order to make it so that you can definitely play online with your kid's account. But for now, that's it. The kid's account is all set up and done. And it was a bit of a palaver, I know, but it's, it's not that bad to set up. It takes a bit of time, that's all. But anyway, hopefully that helped somebody. Um, I'm done. I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and all the rest of it. You know the drill. Anyway, I'm gone. Bye.